All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I got something cool for you. These are from Nikki Boys Toys. These are some really, really dope riding pants. I've been kind of looking around for an everyday riding pant that I could just wear to bike nights that look good, that weren't like making me look like a street Rossi out there in like full race suit. I just wanted something I could casually throw on that looked pretty dope, had some pockets in it and, and had uh, minimum protection. You know, these aren't super crazy, you know, Kevlar lined uh, pants or abrasion resistant jeans or anything like that. They're just a real simple pant that looks good. And this is a newer company, Nikki Boys Toys is, and uh, EST 2021. And so I like that. I like what they're doing. Uh, the guy that I've that, uh, seen his Instagram, he's seen his pretty, pretty cool dude. He's going to offer us a discount code. So uh, make sure you're checking the link in the description for that. I'll update that and I always do. There's other links for you guys to check out, affiliate links. That's how you support the channel. Also, please like, share, subscribe. That always definitely helps. Comment below as I always, always answer most comments as I can. So uh, anyways, let's jump into these pants. They're actually really sick. I'll throw some B-roll as what I look like on the bike from my ridiculous Instagram video that I did earlier today. That on there is raining now, so I can't ride today. Um, but so I figured I would do this. So Nikki Boys Toys, uh, these are called the License to Ride Pant. Now there's another one that's a little bit more money that I think has abrasion resistance. I didn't really check into those. We'll get those later. Uh, but these are just their basic pant and they come with minimal protection. So what you get with these is a $30 value. You get some CE level rated knee pad that's removable. I have the one in here and you just kind of you know, you got to open up here and you just kind of take that in and out if you want to. And that's what that looks like. You can, um, you can put better stuff in there if you want, you know, you can put Revit's new, uh, CE, CE level stuff or Alpine stars or anything you want in there. Um, uh, if you want to, you know, get crazy about it and put something more quality in there, which th those knee pads aren't bad, but the hip pad is just a piece of foam. Uh, probably not going to do a whole lot, but it's definitely better than nothing. And that just goes into this little hip pocket here that you slip that into, and that's pretty dope. Uh, these pants are incredibly, incredibly comfortable. I mean, I can't tell you guys how much, how comfortable these pants are. You gotta experience it for yourself. I mean, they are really, really legit soft, uh, and I, I really like that a lot. Now they're not 100% cotton, so um, they're they are 70% cotton, which ain't bad. 28% polyester, 2% spandex, so you get that stretchy. Uh, nice stretchiness. Now these are probably going to shrink in the wash. When I put them on, I'm, a th I'm, I'm five foot nine, about five ten, 170 pounds, uh, probably 165 or now. I didn't eat yet today, and that fluctuates with me. But anyways, um, I put them on there a bit big in the waist and a little long. So I'm expecting these to shrink. I'm going to wash them, throw them in the, in the uh, dryer, and see if they shrink up a bit, which would be nice because they are a little bit big. If they don't, I'll do an update video on that and an EDC video that I'm getting ready to do. And where I'll update the link in the, or the description and let you guys know the size down on these. But if you are worried about that and you want them a little bit tighter, they are a bit big. Uh, so I usually wear 32, 32. These are a little bit big for me. So um, that's what they claim they are 32, but they're, they're a little big in the waist. But we'll see if they shrink. So anyways, I'm expecting them to, so it's all good either way. I'm still gonna rock them, don't really care. Next pants I get, if they don't, I'll just size down. Uh, they are made in China. I like to point that out. Uh, you know, I do reviews, so it's important to me to let you guys know where these are made. Um, we got some washing directions. Machine wash, do not bleach, do not, do not tumble dry, which was I was about to do, I think. Warm iron made in China. So, you know, they're not made in the US. Um, and like I said, these aren't Kevlar lined or nothing. They're pretty basic. Uh, you get little minimal protection. Like these are these are not pants you're gonna rock when you're doing down twisties all day. You know, when you're you're riding hard doing 60, 70 around a corner and you know dragging knees and stuff, these are not the pants you're gonna wear. If you're if you're just going this is going to bike night, going to dinner, you got a hot chick on the back or the wifey, you know, you're out for a ride, you're you're out with the boys just cruising around. That's what these are for. You know, these are for minimal protection, they give you that style factor. That's what these are. Uh, and you know, if you want to ride all day, fine. But if you're going hard, I mean, real hard, you're actually worried about dumping that bike because you're going so hard. 
you probably are gonna wanna get something a little bit more uh, protective. But for going to bike nights, like I said, and going to dinner, like what I'm about to do, just go cruise around and just get something to eat, maybe go to the gym. These are my everyday bike jeans. Like I'm, I'm probably not gonna get on the bike without some kind of protection on. And uh, that th these will give me that, you know, I don't have to spend a ton of money. These aren't two, $300, these are sub $150. And that's really, really fucking dope that he, he was able to create something at that price point. Most riding jeans I've seen are two, $300. And you know, that's just the way it is. Uh, some of the features on these, like I'll show you in my B-roll from this ridiculous video. Uh, you know, they look dope on the bike. If you wear a full, if you wear a full pant, uh, full boot like I do, um, you know you're only you're only missing like a tiny bit of protection when you get this CE level rated uh, knee pad, and you know you're only get you're only missing a tiny tiny bit there in the shin. And what's cool is you have this stretchy accordion uh, stretchiness here at the knee. So what happens is, and you y'all ride a bike, you know when you when you get on them pegs and your pant leg likes to ride up. Well, these won't do that. Uh, even if you tuck them into like the Alpine started boots, um, they just they just like to ride up, and it's just a pain in the ass. So uh, these won't do that. That's a really really dope feature, and it actually looks fucking awesome too. So in the back here, same deal. You get the accordion stretch for your back, you know, for your ass or your ass cracking hanging out. And, you know, it doesn't matter if you're riding a Harley or you're on a, a street bike or whatever. Uh, you experience that, you know. So they're good for that. I love it. Um, I had, I, I do always carry a firearm. I threw that back there. Um, and so that works out fine with, uh, if you carry a gun. Um, I don't ride with my, this is a Glock 43. I don't necessarily ride with that all the time. I usually keep it in my crossbody bag or a fanny pack or something that I keep here inside that backpack. Actually, I have it right here. So I usually keep it in something like this with that Velcro holster, you know, because I like to, I'm a big advocate for the Second Amendment, so I like to make sure I have my firearm on me usually, always, I mean, always. So, unless I'm going state to state, which, you know, whatever. Uh, Alpine started bag too, I like to throw it in there. So, they do work with the gun if you're going to take it out of there and throw that in there. They're nice and comfortable for that. I already tried that out, so if you're somebody who likes firearms and carries a gun, boom. They work good for that. So, uh, minimal branding, don't have nothing crazy. I really like this, like logo they do back here it's pretty dope um you know the stitching seems to be nice on it it's nothing nothing crazy to write home about but it looks like it'll hold up pretty good we'll do a, we always do we don't own a channel some of you new here we always do reviews on stuff and then like a year later i'll come back and let you know if the product has changed has it fell apart whatever uh but these so you know as far as opening the box getting them right, right today they're they look good but we'll always always double check that have have any of the loops you know, one of the things I like to check is the belt loops and the stretchiness on those and the stitching. There's there's a little bit of thread hanging out, but I can tell those are that's a pretty solid stitching uh, job there. You know, it's not perfectly straight or whatever. It doesn't look super clean, but they they look like they're gonna hold up nicely. You know, that's not like uh, I don't even I think that's double stitched too. So that's pretty good. Um, you know, a lot of this stuff is single stitches. It's not. It's not nothing crazy, guys. You're not getting anything crazy here, but like I said, a sub $150, you can't really beat that. Uh, you know, you get this really cool, like, gusset here for your pants. Uh, that, that, you know, so, you, you know, you gotta do, do your business. Um, what else you got? That's, that's really it. I mean, they're just a comfortable, stretchy pant that looks good. You can wear it at bike nights. I love the chrome, like, polished, or not chrome, I say, well, I guess you could say it's chrome, but. I like that look, that looks good. I think it looks, looks pretty dope. And uh, obviously, I look good on the bike with them. You look badass, you know, you got the armor, you got the pants, you got the whole thing, and they uh, they just look good. So, Nikki Boys Toys, again, make sure you're checking out those links in the bottom in the description. Uh, I will update those as they come, discount codes and all that stuff and different affiliate links you guys can check out. Make sure you use those affiliate links because there's a ton of different stuff you guys might like. Doesn't necessarily have to be motorcycle stuff. I got sunglasses stuff, I got uh fragrance i got all kinds of affiliate links so you guys can check out and uh you know gifts whatever you want to do so like share subscribe again and i uh, will see you guys in the next one until then i love you all peace